Yo, 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 what is up everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. So hope you guys are all having an amazing day today. We're going to go ahead and continue on with the Empyrean tier review. Uh, we have the spells. This video will be on the Sorcerers. If you want to check out the video I posted a couple minutes ago, I, 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 I'm assuming, I'm not sure exactly when I'm going to post it or like the order more than likely, but um, I'm going to be posting a video, if not already, about the Warriors. Definitely check it out or not because they're trash anyways, but up to you either way. So we got Modrian. So we got Wydrian, Redrian, and then Modrian. Um, I kind of can tell that there's like kind of a theme going on here. All right. It has like the mechanical feel, the engines. It's basically the same like dragon design, uh, except one was a warrior, one was a hunter, one was a sorcerer. Yeah, we got the legendary fire sorcerer, uh, Dra Draconic Dynamo. Dynamo, yeah, Dyna, Dynamo, yeah, that's right, <laughs> sorry, um, I don't know what I'm thinking, so the, again, these are sorcerers, keep in mind, so we got Dragon Fire Missile, fires a projectile that destroys an automatically chosen tower, restores rage on cast, we, again, we don't know the spell, uh, cost or anything like that, but we do know, it was confirmed that this particular spell will target blue mages before red mages, which is interesting, because that kind of synergizes well with the fact that it has sword, no, northern lights, northern lights light, uh, invincible shield, invincibility shield that creates heal marks when destroyed. So, northern lights has two versions: dark and then light. Dark puts out rage marks, and then the light version, this one, has uh, the heal marks. So whenever you kill a tower after this uh, invincibility shield comes out, or like you know wears off you get rage back, or in this case, health back. Seeker shots, this was on Shizard and Rajin, and I think a couple others. Instantly shoots multiple magic projectiles at targets in front, and then fire flag resist. So I'm gonna go over my opinions in just a second. Just wanna go over the spells first. Now we got this guy. Again, I love the, I love this look of these guys. Um, you know, if looks could kill bases, this might not be a terrible tier. But, unfortunately, they don't, um, and the spells suck. So, yeah, fun times. Kapolos Jester Wyrm, I don't know, I'm probably mispronouncing that. These are such meme old faces, as always. But anyways, this kind of reminds me of Quetz, in a way. But, again, visually awesome, graphics amazing. Dark Sorcerer, by the way. Um, so, this is basically like the, auto <laughs> the autopilot. Um, summon Puppet. Summons a puppet warrior dragon to fight for the dragon. Okay. Well, that's basically like Canaris's, um, not Canaris. Yeah, yeah, Canaris's, like, Hilders, Equesters. Basically just an, a dragon that flies out in front of you dealing damage. Rampage, increased health attack, sorry. Increased attack and rage generation, destroying towers gains rage. Why is that on a sorcerer? Um, spiraling madness restores a percentage of the dragon's health over time. So it is a constant, like, health. Um, which is interesting, and then Ice Flak Resist. Okay, I'm just gonna start by this with just Dragon and say, like, what in the world? This is, like, a dragon specifically, I'm not gonna name the team, but it is a team known for huge spenders, but absolutely zero flying ability. I feel like this is, uh, <laughs> targeted for that particular audience. Uh, because it's literally one spell. One spell, Rampage. And I'm, I almost guarantee you, if you're going against a defended base, you're not even going to be able to use Rampage because he has no way to, like, gain rage. And he has no way to dodge mage shots. So you get to an island, you might be able to use Ramp Rampage once, but if you're going against a max base, more than likely they'll have an Ice Flak. And that Ice Flak will just take away Rampage, and you're stuck there. So you're just going to be gaining rage and having a summon puppet that's dealing damage. But besides that, you're literally just going to be swiping. <laughs> like... It is genuinely nearly the most autopilot dragon you can have. <laughs> like, yeah, um, I'm disappointed, man. Like, why? They had the opportunity to make these dragons so good. We have been waiting for these dragons. They have the gameplay faction now. Like, these guys know what they are doing. They're good at the game. I, if the gameplay, okay, I, I take that back. If the gameplay faction did not tell them these dragons absolutely suck, which I can guarantee you they did, um, then they don't belong, you know, they shouldn't be in there. But they did, I guarantee it. Um, PG just probably didn't listen. 
And now we have autopilot 3.0 or 5.0. I don't even know like which point oh it is now because we have so many autopilot dragons. Um, yeah, it's just disappointing. Um, and ice flag resist, it's nice, but like they don't do a whole lot of damage anyway. They're just really for the utility of removing spells. So like, yeah, no, no bueno. Um, this guy right here, Modrian, Modrian, I don't know. I mean, he's better. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he's better than the other one. Uh, Dragonfire Missile, fires a projectile. Like, that's interesting, because if you can use Dragonfire Missile quick enough to hit the blue mage, and then immediately use Northern Lights before any of the mage shots hit you, for those who don't know, if you're able to use some sort of shield, like Northern Lights, Invincibility, mage shots won't actually drain your rage, which is very nice. Um, so it kind of makes this dragon a tiny bit more viable, but... Against any island with an ice flag, you're going to get screwed over really quick. Quick? Quick. Um, because, again, he has no way to, like, dodge mage shots. Sorry, not ma dodge mage shots. Uh, dodge, like, the super shots from ice. Sorry, yeah, from ice flags. So he's going to get hit. He can't use Northern Lights. At that point, if you have, again, this is assuming a defended base, right? Uh, because against undefended bases, like, all dragons are pretty much good. Um... It's just against defended bases, against good defended bases, that's when you start distinguishing between good dragons and completely garbage dragons like uh, Gloomclaw 2.0, which was uh, in the Warrior video, if you've not checked that out. But yeah, so Ice Flax will screw this guy up really quick, but if there is no Ice Flax, you know, I think this guy actually might be interesting. You just have to be quick. I mean, if you use the missile and then immediately, like, it depends on how much rage it costs and then also the restores rage part. I'm not entirely sure, like, how much it is. Um, if it's zero rage, that might not be too bad. Um, I mean, hey, that's basically like a, you know, free two rage there. Or what, however many rage you get for it, that's not terrible. Um, the Seeker Shot deals insane damage. I remember when uh, the Harbinger tier first came out, and there was the Rajan. Like, Rajan was so good for quite a while because it had Spell Flux. And because of Seeker Shots. Like, Seeker Shots could literally one-shot max towers. So, I feel like this guy might actually not be too bad against, like, kind of decent bases. Um, any Ice Flag, again, is going to screw this guy up. Um, and keep in mind that Dragonfire Missile isn't going to be targeting the Red Mage first. Which isn't a problem, depending on the cooldown. Because what you can do is you turn the corner, right? You use Dragonfire Missile. It kills the Blue Mage. You put up the Northern Lights before... Any of the mage shots hit you. You don't lose any rage. You can't get hit by anything. The Dragonfire Missile cooldown finishes or whatever while you still have Northern Lights up, so you still aren't taking damage. You use Dragonfire Missile again. It kills the Red Mage this time, and then you use Seeker Shots to clean up whatever's left. I could see it possibly being used. Um, but that's in a very specific scenario. So, so far, um, yeah. Disappointing. Unfortunately, I mean, I don't, I don't know. For, for a tier that they've had so long to, like, design and come up with great spell ideas and, like, the possibilities. I mean, last tier, the Mythics were so good. Jorm, Ani, it's Ani. All three of those Mythics were so good. And then they come out with these dragons and it's like, what? I mean, what, what are you expecting us to do? We already kind of know what the Hunter spells are going to be, and even those didn't even look impressive. So, I mean, is this just going to be, like, you know, a wasted tier? Um, I hope not. I, I really don't. Um, again, if looks should kill bases, these guys would definitely be murdering JL's base, but it doesn't. So, yeah, I don't know. I do not know. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much. I don't, I don't know why I'm doing this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.